All right, so the next thing that we're going to talk about is both manual and automatic conversion methods. So the very first thing that we're going to talk about is the manual method. And again, you can uh, follow this in the documentation if you want. So the very first thing that we need to do is let's get something that is not converted. So let's go here and grab um, a basic character prefab. Sure, why not? Okay, let's let's drag him in here to this scene. All right, so here we have uh, the basic locomotion character provided by Invector, um, and it is not converted at all. So uh, the very first thing that you could do is you could actually come over to here to this um, documentation and click on convertible components. And you can see the list of all the convertible components that is in the basic locomotion package. And then if you were in the melee and then if you were in the shooter. Um, so since I already know that uh, by heart, I've done this enough times, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. Um, but when it comes to converting, it's fairly simple. It's just time consuming. So uh, we're gonna look at this V ladder action and I'm gonna search for multiplayer V ladder action and go ahead, add it side by side and just make sure I'm not gonna mess things up. I'm gonna actually um, unpack this prefab. Um, and then what I've included here is if we click this little icon, we can go to, um, yeah, EMI and deep copy values. And then we can come over to here and deep paste values. And that just copied all the settings from this original one to the multiplayer one. And with that, I can come up to here and I can remove the component. And we do that for every component that is convertible. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Okay, so uh, you can see the, how that is kind of tedious there. Um, but now I, I've got the multiplayer versions. Um, I've added this network calls component. I made sure to set the sync interval to zero um, and that this is uh, default and not like force hidden or anything or server only. Um, and the last thing that we need to do is come up here to this calling mode and say always animate. Um, that's kind of important just with how the servers work uh, in general. Um, so this uh, this character is now converted, um, and it's it's ready to go. I can then add him in here. Um, I can you know make him a prefab and add him in here to my spawnable prefabs. Um, you know, but that you know that's one way to do it. It's it's very tedious, but it's an option in case for some or whatever reason the automation is broken in some way you have that option. So now let's look how we can do that in about two seconds with the automation. So again, I'm gonna drag him back into the scene. Um, I'm gonna just unpack him to play it safe. And now let's open up the automation window. So I'm gonna to go to the navigator and say convert objects. So now in the convert objects, you can scan your entire um, projects for prefabs that are convertible and it will do it automatically for you or we can just take advantage of this field and do one object at a time. And so in this particular case, I want to convert him. Now it's important to know that objects that you drag and place in here are going to be replaced as is. It do, what that means is it's not going to make a copy and make the changes to the copy. It's actually going to make the changes in place to the original object. So it's up to you to make that copy for yourself and in case for whatever reason you don't trust this. Um, but when you're converting the prefabs, you'll see that it says you can choose the directory to scan and um, the output directory that you want to save it to. Um, we'll get into this after this, but uh, basically all we need right now is to convert this one out. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and convert this object selection. And it says um, the scene object has been successfully replaced with the multiplayer version. Um, and so we're going to go at, go ahead and go over here. Um, 
and we see that it it says like oh i i uh, had some issues destroying this uh, generally i want to say about 99 percent of the time these things you can ignore um, but as you can see this multiplayer this is now a multiplayer version of the character um, it's got all the multiplayer components on here um, and you know just verify some of the settings here correctly uh, make sure that it's syncing things that you would you would want um, it's not missing any events um, and this particular thing might be um, important uh, it might be important to duplicate your character and run this on that if you don't trust this fully. Um, but generally, I, I want to say about 99% of the time, this is going to work fairly flawlessly. Um, so the other thing that we can do is instead of doing this tedious one character at a time, we can actually scan our entire project and convert every prefab. Now, this is a bit safer safer to do because this will actually copy the prefab and make the changes on the copy. And the copies will be saved to this directory path. So if I look in my uh, directory here, let's just actually delete this. Um, it will actually generate that directory if it doesn't exist. Uh, now I need to say include in vector directory just because um, the project that I, the way that my project is right now, everything in here is already multiplayer. And then obviously we have the Invector and then everything in here is mirror, which we don't necessarily care about. So I'm going to say include this, but generally in your project, you just want to exclude the Invector directory. There's no reason to convert that. Um, you should want to convert your own project. So I'm going to say uh, recursively scan directory, and then I'm going to navigate to the Invector directory. I only want to scan this Invector directory, and I want to scan everything in here. And like it says, it says recursively, so it's going to scan that directory and every child directory as well. Um, and I don't need to populate these. These are provided here if I want to uh, basically convert one thing at a time or convert a tar target prefab or scene mm -hmm. object. So now I'm going to click scan project uh, for convertible prefabs. Now this is important that you're targeting the correct directory. If you have an absolutely massive project, this could take a while. Um, so make sure that you're targeting the correct directory, but generally this takes around 30 seconds. So let's try it out. Okay, so that was actually a lot faster than 30 seconds. Um, but here is every single um, prefab that it found that it can convert. So if I click it, it's actually going to highlight it um, and it will, will show me where in the project it found. Um, and then I can, you know, manually come in here and remove things or I could just purge the entire list and then rescan. Um, but since I'm happy with this, I'm now going to say convert object selections. So now it's going to run through these one at a time, copy it, and make the changes to it. So let's go ahead and do that. We just have to wait for this to complete. This could take around 30 seconds to complete. Selected prefabs have been copied, converted, and saved to your output path, which is the assets converted. So I'm going to click OK, and then we see that is now generated over here. So let's move this aside. I'm going to click on the converted, and now this is every single prefab that it went through and converted. Uh, so if I look at this boss AI, um, I can come into here, and we can see it's been replaced with the multiplayer components. and and correct components have been added. And so now I can take these and use them in my project um, with a fairly high level of confidence that it's going to uh, work correctly. And then of course um, I can, if I want to, um, you see it also converted these 
uh, item list data to reference these things now correctly. Um, if for some reason you uh, had a new item list data and you didn't want to scan everything again, you could just drag and drop that in here. And again, if you wanted to convert a single object in your scene or in your project, you can drag and drop it in here. Uh, just make sure that this list is empty, otherwise it's going to convert everything in that list again. Um, but other than that, that's the way to convert uh, a prefab or a scene object, both in a manual and in an automated fashion.